Yo, what's up guys? So today we're going to be looking at the film Magnificent Seven, directed by Antoine Fuqua. The film, as you already know, is a remake of the 1960s version of Magnificent Seven, which was actually a retelling of a 1950s film called Seven Samurai. In the Magnificent Seven film, it stars Denzel Washington, Chris Pratt, Hayley Bennett, Ethan Hawke, Peter Sarsgaard and others. The main plot follows the same storyline as the previous versions. A small village of homesteaders are attacked by a group of thieves, so they must seek the help of seven gunmen and band together to stop them. Okay, first thing I want to say about the film is the cast. The cast is very diverse and very unique. You have a black guy, an Asian guy, a Native American, a Mexican guy and three other white guys. Now I know that those kind of people would not be around during that time period, but even though it may be factually incorrect, it was nice to see a nice diverse cast that, that all do play off each other's personalities very well. For example, like how Chris Pratt's character is always making fun of the Mexican, and how the Native American refuses to eat the white people's food because it says it's for dogs, or how over the top Vincent Dionfrio's character was. In fact, speaking of him, I was actually surprised by his performance. I mean, at first he was kind of irritating with his really high voice, but eventually you do warm up to him. Bai Hung Lee's as the assassin was incredible, I mean, he was such a boss in the film. Ethan Hawke's character as the sharpshooter was also performed very well, and you really do feel for the guy as well. Let's just say, without spoilers, he is experiencing some problems and you really do sympathise for him. I thought Hayley Bennett's character as the main female was pretty okay. I mean, she was relevant to the story and, you know, and did contribute and stood her ground, so that was, that was good for her. One person who I was actually disappointed about was actually the main villain, played by Peter Swishgard. It wasn't that he acted badly or anything, I mean, for the most part, he played his part relatively well. It's just that you don't really see him as a big threat because you don't really see him do anything major. In fact, he barely did anything in the film. It was really all his men that did all the work for him while he just stood there with like his little cigar and that. But I mean, at, at the beginning of the film, he was very threatening in the opening scene, but as the movie went on, you don't really see him do much until of course the final act. For Denzel Washington, however, as the main protagonist, he, he, he stole the whole show, I mean, he absolutely killed his role. One thing I noticed in the film is that it doesn't spread out the action sequences throughout the film, but instead it has two big ones in set places. One in the middle and like one at the end. And the one at the end went on surprisingly long and was quite thrilling. When the action sequences do come though, they are very well done and they're quite brutal to be honest. Another thing I need to talk about is the cinematography and the score. The score is beautifully done by James Horner. And unfortunately, this was his last work before he passed away. The cinematography and set pieces are absolutely gorgeous. It makes you really feel like you're in the West with these guys. And I don't know about you, but there were some shots that really reminded me of some classic Western films, such as The Good, The Bad and The Ugly. Yeah, don't, don't go into this film expecting this to be some big breakout movie of the year, by the way. Because it's not perfect by any means. At the same time, no movie is perfect, but you know, there were some parts that I didn't really like. Like, there are a few pacing issues in the middle of the film. I mean, like, there are a few scenes that I felt like they did drag just a little bit. And like I said, the main villain wasn't that great. Overall, this is a fun popcorn film with full of charismatic characters and excellent score, fantastic cinematography and fast-paced action. So I'm going to give The Magnificent Seven a 3.8 out of 5. If you enjoyed my review, make sure you like and subscribe. Have a good day and peace.